Yeah, so he was a police officer and a SWAT, and then it's for every all responders. Sure, so, sure, sure. so the worst people in the world. Yeah, gotcha. the ones that help us. Ugh. The ones yes. that dr- the ones that yeah. drink the most. Leave my house burning. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that are gonna respond to me when I have <laughs> get alcohol poisoning <laughs> from drinking this bourbon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Give, 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 give daddy his milk. Be interesting. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Uh, I got the coke over here too. If you wanna, oh I'll, yeah, I'll taste I'm gonna it. do oh, a sip. Yeah, we're doing we'll do a okay. sippy of first. I was just gonna do a sip and then mix no, it's fine. it. That's fine. Myself. Sip and then mix it, and then we just. <sighs> you do this yet? God, you are. Just... I must say, <laughs> I googled. I was like, okay, let me do my research. Mm-hmm. It was like six, eight. I was like, my, why, why the hell is everyone so damn tall? Yeah, like, everyone's not tall. People. You're just There's a, lot a of little Canadians short. That are quite tall, particularly in Australia. All of my mates, really, really big people. So. Yeah, I would say so. Jeez, yeah. how, if you're saying they're big people, well, they're shorter than me. But. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They all are. <laughs> There's one guy by the name of Lewis Spears that wears uh, high heeled shoes just to get a little bit bigger than me, but I've still got him covered. So. Does, does he wear the lifts? Yeah, he does. He's uh, he does like brand deals for the lift shoes. It's I not, love that's it. not true, but have we started lie is racially ambiguous and baddy. That guy's fucking ridiculous and we don't know. It's not to ask yourself why, but my friend, you've arrived. Welcome to unsubscribe. Oh, the show, let's yeah. go. <laughs> all right, all right. We over? Right here, right here. I didn't get me nail on it. all right. Come on. Oh, there it is. Uh, hey. Good job. Oh, I remember to drink this time. This is good. Welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. As always, we have Eli, Double Tap, myself, Batty Stream, and our beautiful, strong, so tall guest yes hello isaac butterfield thank you uh, for, for stopping gentlemen, in gentlemen it's been a pleasure well it is the a bunsman pleasure. the butsman the butsman Marn. you gotta have the r in there Arr. 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 yes please go Arr. on no that's all i got that's all i got Arr. 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 <laughs> well there's, there's a lot of uh impressions of australian people mm-hmm. and they, 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 what, what's the word like Nar and what's yeah. the other one there's another one like i don't fucking I, I, I game with a bunch of Australians all the time. Okay. Uh, and, oh, well, yeah, Pess and everyone, because uh, we have Pestili. We've had... He's a big gamer uh, in Australia. Awesome dude. And uh, Slush Puppy's the other one. He's uh, from Tasmania. Gotcha. And uh, the boys. And then when oh, we shit, Swagger the does right the best Australian... Because he lives in Australia now, so mm. Swagger Soul's fucking... You Got it down. Tell. Got it down. Yeah. To a T. You yep. would never tell until he goes back to talking. That's pleasantly delicious. Surprising. Guys, if you have a... Ch- <laughs> that is... I was like, the bottling super nice, but mm. that was actually really fucking tasty. I was Good expecting job. a much, much more Good. of a bite. I Responder was. bourbon. That's actually, Beautiful. and that's almost 50%. Okay, okay, okay. They did good. Holy shit, Kevin. You didn't mess up that bad. Mm. Oh, I'm getting drunk today. <laughs> I know, and I just missed a lip. I was like, slide me that. Oh, slide yeah, sorry. Hang on. This is my only time I drink is for the show. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> my fair liver enough. can't take it anymore. That's why we do a show every other day. It's great. <laughs> so, you're doing, so you're doing like, what, four a week? No, oh, once, no. A good, once a week. <laughs> once a week. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're That's like, enough. they're That's alcoholics. Enough. <laughs> That's enough a week. Well, we are, but. <laughs> so what do you boys get up to? Tell me about yourself. No, no. What, 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 about us? Is, uh, we already went to whose podcast is this? Well, I don't know. Dare you I've got to know. I've got to know. <laughs> Hi, yeah. I'm Isaac. Welcome to the unsubscribed podcast. It's great here to be here, ladies English and gentlemen. American. <laughs> Make sure you check out the Patreon. It's fantastic to be there. We've got a Discord. It's a great time. And great. And I tell you what, we're going to get temp. Go on. Go on. No, 10% <laughs> off all the merch this week with code Buttsman. Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna message Bunker right now. <laughs> and we're sending we you an invoice for the invoice to make up for all this. My apologies, my apologies. What what just a huge invoice comes What like, an asshole! What? You gotta make up for perfect. The cost. Nah, fuck them. They deserve it. Let them let them try to buy the merch and be like, yeah. discount. And then it's not there. Yeah. So these are wait. So I'm assuming. Have you watched any of these episodes? You, I've watched. I've watched the start of a few of them. Uh, <laughs> the first the intro. Well, honestly, that's all you need to <laughs> that's watch. All if I you need watch to know. more than that, it's. But you know, I, I'm traveling at the moment. I'm also traveling with uh, my young son. So there's not much time I get to spend yeah. on, on YouTube. He's 32, right? He's 42. <laughs> uh, and he's, uh, yeah, he's, he, he's, he's five months tomorrow. So he's growing very, very quickly. And um, it's great to travel with him because obviously, I'm, so I'm a comedian and I travel for work. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. So um, we took the, the most of this year off uh, shows. We're doing some in Australia. 
um, at the end of the year, but we took most of the year off just to, to have him, first of all, and then uh, get to know him, see if we like him. And uh, <laughs> we, it turns out we do. Uh, good. That's good, because I don't think you can return them anymore. No, you can sell them, but you oh, okay, you sell go. them over in China or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, something yeah, about it. you got to put, you know. Yeah, it's a boy. It's going to be tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's got to be worth something. That's got to be, it's particularly yeah. in China. This Chinese <laughs> baby, look, we are very tall, very white. <laughs> do you, do you, are you of Asian descent? Yeah. Okay, good, you can do that. Yes, <laughs> you can do it. Yeah, I, I, I was freaking out. Oh yeah, I was freaking out. I was like, mm, "Are you Hawaiian? Uh, <laughs> are you Asian? Are you, Hawaii, Asian? What a, are you brownish? Please you have tell the horizontal me. eyes or the." <laughs> I anyway. I, uh, <laughs> so I have all the cards. Thankfully, that was it's one thing I was giving them. Like you're going to be Mexican, Asian, white, uh, and then some other stuff. Yep. Have fun with that. Also, yeah. your son's autistic. Yep. You can have that card. Yep. So I'm like, bro, this is dope. I have all the cards. Yeah, I've, I've got an autistic brother. So I pull out the autistic card on stage all the time. I love it. I'm like, yep, <laughs> retard. I use that card. Don't worry about it. You can bleep contact. You can bleep that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no staring contests. That's that's literally what I start talking about. I, I that's how I opened my show last year was was just trying to find the autistic people. Usually they got Seems their hand looking. up with a big smile on their face, so it's not too hard. <laughs> Uh, with earphones on, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. It's too much sensory stuff. And I did this whole joke about autistic porn. It's a great bit. Um, I probably put it in my next special. But anyway, um, <laughs> I love you so much more, right? Now. Yeah, right. <laughs> so anyway, so um, yeah, mate. That's that's me. And uh, the question was before the show uh, about touring, and I was planning a tour mm-hmm. of the states. I had it all booked in, had all the shows locked away, contracts signed. And my agent who I was working with, who was a great dude, very nice fella, had some uh, family issues going on and he, he, he went a bit AWOL, oh, so to speak. Uh, not like post office AWOL with, with, a, with a, you know, AR-15. Good. But just, he just, Good. And just normal AWOL. He was just hard to contact for a while, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, which, you know, I was, I was angry about. But then when you, 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 know, you, you look through it and go, what would I have done in that situation? You know, would I have been able to handle the pressure mm-hmm. and all that type of stuff? And who knows? You don't know until it's in front of you. So I just sort of let it go. And we just we paid for the tickets, my wife and I and, and uh, tour manager Morgan. Uh, so we just thought, stuff it, we'll go anyway. And, no uh, and here we are. So we've been in Austin for the last couple of days and we're heading down uh, to, to Houston tomorrow. And we thought we'd stop in on you guys uh, at your undisclosed yeah. location on the way. Appreciate it. Bernie, Texas. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. <laughs> so it's um it's i love texas man dude texas is I, I, going through all your content i i love watching the different transitions also by the way the co- the ghost the ghost stuff I'm oh like, my boy did it go. <laughs> yeah did you see him oh yeah 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 so claire and i my wife we do um we do these ghost hunts we did them before young atticus was born and yeah, uh, they're great fun. I hear they're kids great are great fun. for ghost hunts too. Like honestly, yeah, if you they pick them up exactly, or, or like the energy or whatever. Oh people yeah, tell they're they're little, little homing beacons. You put great. that, yeah, yeah. The ghosts just for form into the baby. <laughs> well, we just wheel the the uh, stroller in or the pram in and just uh, shut the door, shut the like, door, and see what happens. Put, put a camera on him. Yeah, fingers yeah. crossed, and just hope for the best. Is it GoPro on the baby's head. Just that baby perspective. And it never it never harmed him or anything. His first words were, "Your mother sucks, sucks, sucks in hell." But that's all right. Like, oh um, my god, did you get it on camera? <laughs> <laughs> um, his head was turning before he was crawling. It was vomiting. so sweet. <laughs> Floating baby. <laughs> but no, um, across the ceiling. <laughs> I, I was talking about this recently. Like we haven't had that many paranormal experiences and we've been in a lot of haunted areas, you know. Mm-hmm. So I've had one, and I don't know if you gentlemen have had uh, any. No, that's why I immediately You like I was, that? I dude. I was going through everything, so I, I was it's a giant notes of what we're going to talk about sure. but that one was the first one was like i want to know what, what do you want to know what do you happen? like Please your ask. your big experience yep. with it especially halloween's around the corner yeah we're we right going to try to film a podcast in a spooky location oh, yeah. you, should. you should what's the what's the potential location can i know the details there's or? a really haunted it's like one of the most haunted things in texas is here in san antonio I forget I, what. It's a, is it a, a saint no it's what is it? Someone was telling me the other night. It's like a hospital um, or an asylum or some yeah, shit. Asylum or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But uh, I, I think you should. I think that would be very fun. Do it at midnight. Do a live so stream. Fun. I don't know. Um, it would be. It is good fun. And it's scary. And it plays oh, it on your mind. Is, that's the hard part. It's still scary. You're- so the scariest. I've had two experiences. One being very terrifying and mm-hmm. one being uh, actually paranormal in my opinion. 
And before I get to that, the scariest thing we ever filmed was we did a, a documentary looking for Bigfoot, but what's known what's known as the Yowie in Australia. So okay. Indigenous culture okay. in Australia yeah, the has Yowie. the Yowie. Okay. Um, they also have um, one uh, sort of cryptoid that lives near Billabongs. What's that called, Morgan? Um, the uh, Can you Google that? Hey, Eli, you want to help me thank one of our favorite sponsors today? Eli? Oh, my God, not again! Got him. She, she sure does make the most comfortable boxer briefs I've ever worn or you've ever worn. I'm wearing a pair of sheath underwear every time you hear from me. And I'm taking them. It's the only underwear I own and the only underwear Eli steals from me. Sheath. And it is the best. The most comfortable boxer briefs you'll ever put on your body. Their stretchy fabric is made out of moisture wicking technology. They're super soft, they keep everything cool and comfortable and in the right place. Make your franken beans happy. My twig and berries used to be hot and uncomfortable. Now, with sheath underwear, my twig and berries love life. And it's like a little AC. And now, my little berries have their own home. Please stop talking about your twig and berries. Head over to sheathunderwear.com and use code UNSUBSCRIBE for 20% off. That's sheathunderwear.com, code UNSUBSCRIBE for 20% off. The, the, live, the, the animal that lives or the cryptoid animal that lives by legend near like billabongs and that type of stuff. Anyway, sorry. You, you're just look. making up gene companies? <laughs> <laughs> billabongs? Is billabongs still in brand? What? what? Bunyip? The bunyip. That lives in, yeah, yeah. The bunions? Yeah. The, yeah. the things bun- that are on your feet? Claire's got a few bunions. We've had to scrape <laughs> them off, but um, <laughs> she's the bunion lady. Ribbed for her That's pleasure. That face of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitch, I've got them. Um, so the uh, the bunyip lives by like billabongs, which is like creeks and stuff. Mm. And uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. But okay, the okay. yowie is Australia's bigfoot. They've got you know they've got them all over the world. And there's it's very interesting that they do have those stories all over the world. I think that sort of leads to the assumption that something existed at some point, or perhaps it still does. We did one in Queensland at a place called the Glasshouse Mountains, and maybe the viewers can check that out. It's this beautiful big. Uh, mountain in the middle of the bush, middle of the forest, mm-hmm. and it just goes straight up. It actually looks. This is what the indigenous culture around that area says. It looks like a Yowie's face or a, or, or a oh, Bigfoot's face. Now that's sort of what they oh, what they really believe. So fucking bad. Is it just one peak? No, no. It's sort of. It almost looks like a head, like a head pointing up. If you if you know, like laying down. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Anyway, so uh, we we go into this area and. It's frightening through the night because there's this this concept of looking for Bigfoots known as tree knocks, if you've ever heard of I tree have, knocks. Yep. So mm-hmm. basically you hit a stick with a tree. It's very, very um, – I could tell yeah. you. We call it in America, we call it uh, snipe hunting. Snipe hunting. But you do it for kids and you do it to trick kids to be like, you got to go hunt a snipe. Like, how do you get a snipe? You smack sticks together. Yep. And then you'll have the kids that just go play in the woods and they smack it. They're like, we didn't find any snipes. It's yeah, like, yeah. Back in the day, it's how you get your kid to waste time. Right. Okay. You just tell them snipe hunting and you smack Fair sticks enough. together. Fair enough. I'm sure we've all, we've all done <laughs> things like that. We used to have rock fights. That's how stupid we were. Yep. And better than uh, BB I, gun I fights. Had, I've had many a rock and BB gun fight yeah. as a child. Well, we oh, don't yeah. have BB guns. We don't have any guns. You can't, have, can't get gel blasters. They're illegal too. So. <laughs> Nothing there. It's gel blasters. Sh- <laughs> yeah, it's a ridiculous place to live. I'm surprised we have cap guns anyway. Um, <laughs> so I actually think they're hard to find too. <laughs> So um, we're out in the bush in the middle of the night and it's we're on this trail and we've walked maybe oh, a mile and a half in sort of thing and we do the tree knocking. Mm-hmm. And then off in the distance we hear a reply. We do it again and we get a reply. At some point we hear something Mm-mm. walking nope. on the side of the track that we're on and then we hear it on the other side. And then a further back behind, and the and the guide that we're with, she was a bit crazy, but <laughs> she started going. That she was wasn't she Claire? She was like, "There's like there's one at six o'clock, and then at nine o'clock, and then at twelve o'clock. No, wait, eleven thirty. Um, there's a small <laughs> one, and so it was a bit hard to believe. But we were I, family attacking. That's <laughs> genuinely you got night vision. Where you genuinely what she said. Uh, so sure, she was in tune. She said so. So I don't know. We didn't see anything. We saw, we heard some weird things, and there was a lot of stories around that area. Mm-hmm. Um, but the the scary thing for us was not being in the bush at night and hearing things that you don't know what what's got, what you know you don't know what's around you. But the um, the thing for us was, or the, what I heard about this area, there was two things that sort of freaked me out. Was one of the guys who was on the tour with us, or on one of the tour guides, was Ron, and Ron was like a sixty-five-year-old dude, heaps normal, 
like just really normal. It like is a normal. Just a normal old boring. dude. Yeah. Boring old dude. <laughs> the type of dude that would be at the beach with a metal detector. That yeah. type of dude. Yeah. <laughs> and he says. <laughs> Somebody's dad. Yeah. Just, yeah, just walking around yeah. scanning. And I uh, I think you pointed at my hand then. And then I looked at my hand and I'm doing that. I was like, what the, what, what is, is that like some sort of symbol? Um, throwing gang signs. Sorry, guys. 10% off. Just um, in touch. I'm casting spells. 10% off. off but smart. Now, so, okay. So I'm there uh, and Ron goes, yeah, it's absolutely real. I was walking down the trail one day, never believed in anything like this. And right up a front of me, maybe 100 yards or so, he sees this giant six, eight foot creature walking in behind a tree and then disappearing. Nah. That's what, mm-hmm. dude, that's like my biggest fear, even with ghost hunting or anything like that. That it's, you'll see something, and then who the fuck's gonna believe you? Can because you Cause try? No, you're ju- the crazy person. You're justifying yeah. it. Everyone exactly. else, you'd be like, you guys a g- normal dude. Yeah. he's boring. He he's metal boring. Detects. Metal detects. <laughs> but he's seen one. <laughs> Why is metal detecting those like <laughs> fucking random yeah, like, like boring son shit? Son of a well, the, bitch. even worse is metal detecting by throwing a rope in a river and pulling shit out with a with a with a mag oh, magnet God, fishing. The, magnet fishing. You seen that? Um, <laughs> they just all they do is pull up old bikes. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> Who wants to pull up an old huffy? Uh, well, here in America so. we find guns. So <laughs> yeah. it's a little sure, more fun. sure. It's a in fun Australia here. we're pulling up bike helmets. That's it. <laughs> Don't know why they're metal, but anyway. So he said uh, that, but then he ruined it. He ruined it, and I said, "So Ron, tell me this: Why do we not see them on camera? Why is there very little evidence? Why is this so hard to spot?" He said, "I believe they're in- interdimensional beings." And I went, yeah, you lost me. Uh, that's it. See, now Ron's that's a crazy it. fucking. Now Ron's a crazy person. Credible. So credible. Credible. Mm. And then there was this other dude on the same thing, and, he, and I'll, I'll whisper so he doesn't find, hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, now the <laughs> internet <laughs> won't hear it. And he told <laughs> okay, us that yeah. um, he's got a haunted doll at R- home. And we saw the video of this doll. It's on the YouTube video. It's, it's Australian Bigfoot Isaac Butterfield, if you want to watch it. And um, it's not monetized. I'm not going to make any money off it. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not promo myself. None of ours are monetized. <laughs> I'm not promo myself. So we're not making money either. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're good. So, um, and he shows the doll. And this is all alleged. I'm not saying he did anything, but just hear me out. What did he, he do? Shows Where did the he doll. touch the doll? He's so, <laughs> on the cock. He, <laughs> he showed us the doll. The doll's very creepy. Mm-hmm. But then he told us this story about his wife um, getting black eyes from the doll and she's not being able to remember things. And I'm sure he didn't do anything. I guarantee you he didn't. But it's just like that. That sounds like a domestic charge to me. No, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. No. Anyway, so that's what we're saying. It's he okay. was, he was you, tossing no. her an encyclopedia. She didn't catch it. Yeah, maybe the doll was had fallen off uh, its, its, its perch the, onto his head. Anyway, so um, I just picture the death story doesn't work, Catherine. It was just we need to weird. come up with something better. The ghost doll. doll. The doll. The doll. <laughs> the ghost doll did it. Um, it's believable, and there's God. a. What's what's crazy is there's no babies in this house right now. You hear, you hear that? That was just creepy. Yes. Haunted by babies. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so the the haunting stuff is really creepy. Mm-hmm. The creepiest one we've had uh, for me was the actual paranormal experience, and the real scariest was something oh, that we did uh, in a haunted tunnel. The real experience I had was at a haunted museum, and we were walking around and getting a tour of the museum. It was all like old farming equipment and all just boring shit, a couple of fucking magnet rocks or whatever. Who gives a shit now? <laughs> we were in there, <laughs> yep. and we're walking around. This lady's giving a tour. She's talking about uh, a stroller, a pram. What do you guys call prams here? Pram? Pram? Stroller? A stroller. Strollers, stroller. Yeah. yeah. Prams? So, we call them prams. I love a brand. The Feels like it's a brand. I got no idea. Pram, stroller, pushy thing. English is so fucking weird, bro. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. You guys are weird too. You're fucking driving the wrong oh, side no, of the road. Yeah, we're insane. You don't adopt adopt the metric system. All this gallon shit. Don't. How you, many gallons are in? I don't even know. I'll get fucking. How many cups in a gallon? How, how many, many cups? It's like 30 much, something, right? How much oh, water yeah, in I a cup? I don't know. I always forgot there's the cups to liters and then liters to gallons, but then it's all fucking backwards on. It's stupid. But it, the standard the imperial system is stupid. Fat it electrician, is. he'd be defending this imperial oh, system. Man. One of our buddies, he's like, you fucks are doing it wrong. I'm like, I don't know. They have a, a one, 110? Ten, 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 tens a hundred, a thousand. A clim, kilometer, meter. Yep. Like, it's all so easy. Like I, I can look and I'd be like, I'm going that's 100 a kilometer. kilometers an hour. That's like, easy. Yeah. I love it. And that's like the speed limit in most parts, like the, 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 the like a long highway, 100 mm-hmm. kilometers an hour here at 60 or 65 or whatever. Anyway, 
it's it's a whole thing. You guys are crazy, but you got guns, so I love you. Now, I'm a big I'm a big fan of guns. Now, standards fine. We have guns. We have a imperial w- system's great. Oh, you didn't, man. We have one or two. Dude, if I lived here, I'd have so many. It'd we have crazy. probably uh, between you and me, we have over like hundred and something. That's so cool. Over <laughs> I love that man. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Because I can't have anything. We just got fifty cows. Like, we oh, I uh, shot yeah. a fifty cow. Um, one of my mates have, has has oh, one, yeah. and I shot it, and it was just, it was so good. It was just so good. I loved it. We had, you know, uh, Chris Ramsey or Wes Barker, they're YouTube musician. They do uh, the puzzles, things no, like that. No. So they're, they're, they're like comedians. No, I don't know puzzles. I'm not oh, a fucking yeah. nerd, but yeah, go on. <laughs> Get fucked, Chris. Fuck you, Chris, and everything you stand for, you dirty <laughs> devil. No, I'm sorry, so, mate. I'm only I'm joking. Sorry, I'm sorry. So uh, they came out. And filmed with us, and it was their first time shooting Big Boy Fifty Cal, yep. mm-hmm. and it's in an enclosed space. And we're like, okay, here's a twenty two. I think we gave him a twenty two suppressed first to fire, yep. and then we immediately went into the fifty cal, and it's yeah, yeah. And both the expressions are Canadian. So All right, they're like, oh. so their whole <laughs> like, heads open like on South Park. Oh, just literally. All the way back. Yeah. I think my favorite it's was like, oh. Harley. We had Harley from uh, Harley Morrison Epic from Epic Meal Time on, yeah, 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 yeah. and he fired a fifty cal for the first time, and he was just like, take it away. This is the gr- oh! <laughs> he came on the spot and he was just Man, walking around the boner for like I've four got days. This video of me firing it for the first time. I was with this guy and he's just broken up with his girlfriend and he had her car up on the hill, like I don't know, a couple of kilometers away. They and shot we're, her car. Yeah, yeah. We were just firing this fifty cal into this car and and <laughs> well, well, no, wait, I don't know. Well, what, I don't know well, what the well, rifle was, but well, the same sort of thing. To, like I'm gonna shoot her car. I don't know. I think he paid for it and he went. I'm gonna shoot the fuck out of this. And fair enough. I mean, America. <laughs> this was in Australia. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is in America. This is Australia. How the fuck did you get a 50 cal there? I don't know. It's like hunting, I guess, in Spare. case a fucking Tyrannosaurus that comes <laughs> yeah, into your backyard. Say, <laughs> a kangaroo? <laughs> a giant <laughs> kangaroo comes for you. A 30-foot kangaroo. It was great, but you, you should see it hit like uh, the, the the what would you call it on a wheel where the brake is? So sort of that real big thick metal part, oh, the caliper. Yeah, the caliper. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it hits that and puts a massive hole through it. It's crazy, man. It's it, and you're firing these rounds, and they're like mm. I don't know, ten dollars Australian each or fifteen dollars Australian sure, like each. Five bucks here. Yeah, for, yeah. For, for, cheap M eighties, five bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So we're around like if you take your your price for something, we're mm-hmm. about double. Mm-hmm. That's like the Australian sort of exchange rate. That's the easy way to do it anyway. You punch um, holes through, oh, dude. You should mate. see the mini guns because we have the backpack mini gun. And it fires. Three. We don't own that one. No, we that's don't own our that buddy. One. Uh, Gra- Grout. Um, Grout Tactical. Yeah. So that is insanity because it's seven six two blanks. We fire from it because you can't fire the real. So the, we we've tried to fire the real rounds. It is you uncontrollable. Can't. Just like as far as kickback or yeah, the recoil. recoil. And you're looking at um, I think it's seventy rounds a second. <laughs> So multi- now do the math on that fucking how much money. You That's just- like the biggest orgasm of all time. So, so it's like 70 to 110 rounds a second. Wow. And th- what, how much is uh, 308 right now? Like 50 buck 80, buck 50 per 100. Uh, I mean, I, I, I box of 20s somewhere in there, 40, 50 bucks, depending on what you're buying. You can get cheaper. Obviously, so buy real shitty ammo. At minimum, you're doing $100 a second. <laughs> Shit. Like, yeah, but that's the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> this With, is the thing. We have a lot of bullets here in between everyone. Everyone has a lot of ammo here. Lots of ammo. <laughs> we have, but <laughs> trying to... We all fired it with blanks. So yeah. No bullet because it's just gunpowder. And even that, you can feel the weight behind it. It's kind of crazy. One of our friends fired it with live ammo, bro. Matty B, and it's terrifying. Mm, I bet he's a bit. He's you know he was you know fucking a ranger, SF, like everything. He's the the, yeah. the hardest motherfucker here in the military. And Jack dude, just like six two, fucking tatted <laughs> military ranger dude. He's like, it threw <laughs> his ass like, back really? like four Instantly. feet. <laughs> like oh, that's scary. It just well, he did like what way. a second at the first Pat time. Do point. Three seconds, because in that point three seconds, you're still looking at like twenty rounds. Or so, who is this designed for? It's a truck, a, a truck. helicopter. Yeah, you usually- <laughs> oh, so it's mount- it's mounted in. Okay, yeah, okay. usually you mount it's meant it for in- blanks and movies. Yeah, yeah, because okay. then you can do cool shit in movies. Like Predator. With- yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's literally yeah. the Predator backpack. Yeah. Well, we don't have those in Australia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't have <laughs> fucking machine mini gun backpacks. You can't get a handgun, but you can get a mini gun. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Apparently, you can shoot your girlfriend's car with a fifty cal too. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. allegedly that. <laughs> allegedly, everything's alleged. I don't. I don't tell the truth. <laughs> Public service announcement. 
Attention all my bearded beasts from stubble to Maine. If you didn't already know, Manscaped now sells beard products. You heard that correctly. The leaders in below the waist grooming changed the game with their Beard Hedger Pro Kit. And now they're going a step further with a brand new handyman. G-Van, punch in, punch boom, in, boom, punch boom. in. Boom. An electric face shaver for a quick and convenient way to achieve a clean shaven look. Whether you're looking to sharpen up your neckline or give your face that smooth finish, the handyman has you covered. Go to manscaped.com and use code UNSUB for 20% off and free shipping. It's time to go from 5 o'clock shady to yeah, baby. No one likes a weird beard, so say goodbye to your stubble trouble with the Manscaped Beard Hedger. I have a weird beard because my genetics. Looking for something, dare I say, smoother? Look no further than Manscaped's new handyman's face shaver. If you're like us, you know clean shaven is a hassle. Ew. That's why you use this. The handyman by Manscaped. So get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com if you use code unsub. So get 20% off and free shipping with code unsub at manscaped.com. Do it. Um, so, oh yeah, back to the. So the guys, rat. okay. So the wombat, whatever it's called, womp, womp rats out of the yo, the, the, wait, the yeah, yowie, yeah, yowie, not yet. Fucking wombats. <laughs> wombats are scary though. There's those weird. Fucking, are they? The noise they make at night. I went out hunting with a with a mate of mine, Adam Greentree. You can hunt wombat. No. Oh, we didn't hunt wombat. It was oh, just okay. one allegedly. There. Oh, you can probably hunt. I don't know. <laughs> Everything's allegedly. Allegedly, you can hunt it. They're like real fat dogs. No, but we just heard one. <laughs> they're like real fat pit bulls. Now, but they're very. But they're, they're, the way they like bark is mm. heinous. Like it's just scary. Like a demon. Is their koalas are the same? If you ever looked up koala growl, it sounds like a fucking demon from hell. It's crazy. It Opposed to those demons from heaven. Demons uh, with STDs. Koalas oh yeah, have. covered in chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> They've I all love got koalas. chlamydia. They're like, I'm a chlamydia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get away, koala. The center of chlamydia in Australia is the bush and old people's homes. That's where it's at. <laughs> They're just spreading it. I love Australia. It's the I be- do. It's the best place in the world, closely followed by Texas. I love Australia too. I'm very, I'm very, and I love Texas too. So um, the the one actual paranormal experience we had, uh, we had uh, was I heard a whisper after we we're in this museum. Dude, hear a whisper, a whole whisper, right? And we're talking about this stroller and the lady goes, oh, you know, this would this particular stroller would have been used in the 1800s for yada, 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 whatever. And I hear clear as day uh, a whisper on my ear say, liar. And that was it. And Mm-mm. the best part about that nope. is I remember editing the video with my mate Connor who edits those for us and I said, him, I said mate, you know, sort That's of it. like bookmark this part in the video. You turned it up the volume and it, you replayed it multiple times, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I just watched that this morning. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's about an hour into the one where we go to a haunted uh, museum. So check that out. And you can see that there's no one here. It's definitely not my, uh, Claire my wife is like over here and uh, the other guy we were with, I turned around and said, "Was that you whispering in my ear?" And he goes, "No, but I think I heard it too." And that sort of sent shiv- shivers down my spine. I was like, "This is great." And we replayed it over and over, and it says liar. Either liar or hire. One of the two, but liar makes more sense, so we'll go with that. You're hired. Um, <laughs> you're hired. <laughs> uh, Another job, guys. Go, the demons are looking to, to bring some new people on. Yeah, we want to you know, turn around the unemployment rate in Australia. It's very important to keep that go- or keep that going down. But even um, now you're justified. You're like, well, wife was over there. Friend was way back here, and I double check because you don't want to be the crazy guy no, that's no. like, didn't add that fucking audio. It was there, clear as day. Yeah, believe me. And please. people say to us, "Oh, you fake this and all that type of stuff." It's like, dude, I do this, and if you watch the videos, you'll realize mm-hmm. that we get nothing all the time, and we've been to all these haunted locations. Ninety nine percent of the time, it's oh, just, it's just sc- if you change the background music in in those videos, it's funny. It's just like. It's the most boring white thing to do ever. Yeah. That's all it is. White people stay in boring hotel. <laughs> if yeah. you just named it and you just put on like it's kind of happy, dark. happy yeah. music the entire white time. White people go to awful museum. <laughs> um, so we did that. But the scariest one, I don't know if you guys are religious at all because this was a pretty – you're a bit religious? I, I was. You was? Way, way back. Back in the day. Day. The So <laughs> you would know the Lord's Prayer, right? Yep. 
Okay, so and everyone knows. Mexican part of my family. Very religious. <laughs> Catholic. Um, well, they would not like this because this also has to do with the paranormal. I know Mexican people are very. Uh, paranormal. But they're very ghosty. Yeah. Uh, they like the paranormal stuff, allegedly. Damn uh, so. Mexicans. I'm looking at you people. Damn Mexicans. <laughs> Damn um, Mexicans. <laughs> You're going to fit in a Texas Isaac, Damn Mexicans. <laughs> Here's why I hate Mexicans in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you two into the paranormal. That and video then, comes out next week. <laughs> and your, your, your burritos are delicious. <laughs> I hate Mexicans, but burritos. Man, I want a burrito, man. We went to an authentic Mexican restaurant yesterday, and you could tell it was authentic because there wasn't white people in the kitchen. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. But, man, the food was incredible. Just so good. What would you like to drink? Oh, the words. Didn't understand them. See? You just got to yeah. point, you point at the menu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, yeah, that's what you, that's she, she was trying to say Dr. Pepper. And I don't really understand Americans saying Dr. Pepper, let alone uh, Mexicans. Well, you like the and, Dr. Pepper. And, and Mexican people can't understand what I'm saying, let alone Americans, so it's just lost in translation. <laughs> I ended up with a white claw. <laughs> and that's fine. Wait, you wanted a Dr. Pepper today? <laughs> yeah, God Shit. dang it. We fucked up. He texted us Dr. Pepper apparently. So I do this these videos with the ghost grannies. You may have seen them on the video. These old ladies. Mm-hmm. They're, very, they're not very old, but they're getting there. And uh, <laughs> they're they're, ones they're are, getting there. We're getting there, the poor things. They've got moments left. Um, they're, they uh, <laughs> do... They do um, like seances and all mm-hmm. this type of stuff, and they they have they get a really good audience in Australia. They have a radio show and stuff with yep. um and the local radio station, and they they're absolutely dedicated to their work. If anyone deserves like a viral internet fame, it's them because they're 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 older ladies and they work fucking hard. It's their last anyway. leg. This is like the last little hurrah on their way out. Yeah, they're about yeah, to lose a leg to it. diabetes, and they're just giving it <laughs> all. It's golden girls, yeah, but ghosts. Yeah, exactly. They both look like ghosts. Well, one does anyway. Renata, shout out. Um, <laughs> So we're, we're in there and we're in this haunted tunnel. Now, apparently someone committed Ryan Reynolds in the middle of the tunnel. Um, like driving? I almost said flag. G-Van, make sure you bleep out that word just yeah. in case we get in trouble. Sorry. Uh, oh. Some, oh, you could say we We say Ryan Reynolds. It's just we know exactly what our YouTube looks for on what words we do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're like, you son of a bitch. So someone deleted themselves in the tunnel. That's hey. <laughs> there we go. Like Ryan that. Reynolds themselves. We love it. It's perfect. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so there was also a tunnel used for um, uh, like carrying coal. Okay, so yeah. it was an old train tunnel and apparently some people had perished in there. Anyway, and apparently, uh, allegedly, allegedly, there was some mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. devil worshipping in there as I well. Love it's, it's, it's always the trifecta. It's like this man deleted himself, followed by miners getting caved in, and yes. lastly, Devil seances. Devil seances. They played D&D. Little Dungeons and Dragons in <laughs> yeah. there. A bunch of devil worshippers. <laughs> and so... Fucking nerds. What do you worry about when you talk about the devil? You worry about the devil appearing, obviously. And so what these ladies decided to do was play the Lord's Prayer backwards. In the middle... Why is it got to be backwards? Two. Why is that a that's thing? How, that's how the devil talks, is backwards. He, okay. Yeah. That's why okay. he can never get his order right at fucking Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're, you're talking about food right now. I'm so hungry. So they play the Lord's Prayer backwards, and that's terrifying. They've got like red lights everywhere because I don't know. And <laughs> they know uh, they put in like spray atmosphere. They're yeah, turning yeah. on the red lights and say, like, "Okay, that's called mood." Fire and brimstone acts. <laughs> Okay, there's one cat. (laughs) (laughs) It's like you ladies are 70. Stop it. Stop this. (laughs) They're not 70, but they look 70. (laughs) Um, And yeah, that was terrifying. We all had to hold hands in this devil circle and and um, Joe. Okay. That was terrifying. You you are no longer just being like, we're just gonna go look for it. No, you're temp now you're trying. Mm. What happens? What happens? No, if, no. if something goes wrong there, and you're all they in get devil's dope ass evidence. Can I just say, I wasn't for this. I was very much against <laughs> it. I was like, we should not be doing this. Why do we do? Well, this doesn't add anything to the video. It's not necessary. We can just fake something. Oh, another whisper! Oh my god. We can't just. <laughs> oh my god, whisper it again. Get no, out. Somebody got possessed and ate everybody else. That's, well, that's, that's what you're doing. There is always this potential. It's like when the Large Hadron Collider was first initiated. Black you know, hole. There was always or? this potential that a black hole could form. And they said, no, no, 
we need to learn about the God particle. We really need to learn about it. It can't just be hypothetical Didn't the dude like step in the way of it and get like fucking punched holes through him and shit There's too? There's an old Russia one. That was yeah. one of the first particle, uh, is particle accelerator. It went through like his face hit. and shit, right? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Imagine attaching like a flashlight to it. You get the blowjob of the year. <laughs> 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 That's how I want to go. Just you one one blowjob straight <laughs> through the dick. <laughs> yeah, cool. But Blanche, yeah, you're you're essentially saying you're, it's like, oh, this is stupid. But on that one Just chance, one Blanche tiny floats up chance. in the air, and starts fucking floating. <laughs> exactly. Blood. Exactly. Look at the Golden Girls possessed. We have this for YouTube clicks. Yeah. Life is awesome. Oh, this is gonna go so well on TikTok. <laughs> <Fuck that. laughs> Vomiting stuff. Can you oh, color yeah. correct it to be purple? The grimace shake trend. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we gotta re get this going. So that that was the scariest one. That was the scariest one. Fuck but, that shit. Um, so we haven't been doing any. Uh, oh, and <laughs> there was one recently, and the guy. Oh, I better not tell this story. I'll tell you later. Why? But, oh, he was bloody. He was. He went to court. He got acquitted. But we were with him all night, and it turns out he was charged with like some stuff. A thing or two? One or two. Dude. And then we felt heaps creeped out and the gross, the grannies were staying there that night. But he was cleared of it all. But but what happens if he wasn't? But he was. I so he was, he was very innocent. That's the good thing. That's good. I just like you. But this, you're like, we hope. Yeah. <laughs> or he had a good lawyer and a lot of We played of the wiggles backwards and he turned up in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> rose up from the bed. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> Dude, yeah, the paranormal oh, stuff. Have you ever watched uh, Ryan and Sean from... Oh, okay, so I Watchers. hate BuzzFeed. I hate BuzzFeed, but BuzzFeed Unsolved was sick. Yeah, it's oh, the this... fucking... It's the bee's knees. It's, it's Batty, very, very good. Batty, if you want, like, some of the best reactions, it is having Ryan and Shane, one that just is against... Go- He's mm-hmm. like... He just doesn't care. He's like, I don't. This is stupid. This is, could have been air. This yep. could have put it in the wind. Did you watch the one they released last week? So I haven't watched. So we didn't know that they, we know where they were moving. And we just sort of like, Clary and I used to watch them. They came out on like a Friday night or something yep. in, in America. And they'd come out in Australia Saturday morning. So we'd have our coffee and sit mm-hmm. there and watch it. But because we um, we just, they moved from BuzzFeed Unsolved onto The Watcher, right? Uh, we just, they just didn't come up in our feed. So uh, there's probably about 20, 30 episodes what we haven't seen. Mm-hmm. What, would, what did you see the other day? So sorry? Shane actually on this last one this last week, without spoiling anything, it's one of the first times he's like, that was actually crazy. Yeah. He's like, I'm... Wow. That was crazy. I'm going to say on that on for the first time. On this, on that was a crazy experience and he walks away. Oh. And you know Shane. Like, yeah. So Shane is the guy that is... Skeptical. Yeah, he has like even the demon, the goat bridge, the demon goat bridge. They're doing a devil seance with like a salt. And then Ryan. I don't feel bad for any of y'all. If y'all get possessed, mm. Ryan's y'all, terrified. Mm. The Asian yeah. dude is just terrified. He's like, this is to protect us. And then Shane's like, okay, but then how are the ghosts going to get in and do anything? So, like, yeah. So Shane, Shane's like, I'm going to just clear this little spot Ooh. on the salt out so then the ghosts can get in there. We can trap him. <laughs> so Man. he's always just fucking with the ghosts. There's so much of that paranormal world that's ridiculous. <laughs> but there's but as you said, there's always that thing like, what if they're no. right? No. What if they're right? Mm-mm. Like, you know how there's this, Can't be. There's this story. <laughs> My sanity relies on it not being real. <laughs> there's this story of the gray woman. And, you know, I hate women, but the gray, <laughs> <laughs> the gray woman... I respect her. No, that's not true. That's being, I'm being silly. Um, the gray woman is... I like you don't know our audience, but you're like, I'm being silly. Our audience was like, oh, oh, oh. I also hate women. <laughs> <laughs> don't that. Check me out at incel.butterfield. Uh, <laughs> so the gray woman, I think this is the one anyway. Uh, she, um, I thought it's the black woman, but that doesn't sound correct Shouldn't at all. say that one. No, the person no. of color woman. I think it's the grey woman though. She is the same, like an old hag that is seen at the end of people's beds. But they, but people all around the oh, world yeah, yeah, yeah. have the same story. They all have the same story of the same exact woman who stands at the end of their bed in the middle. What a whore, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who stands at the end of the bed? What a try, tease! What a tease! How yeah, dare she? You're gonna wake there. up tonight and be like, and she's gonna be. Like, she's just there promoting her OnlyFans. Like, <laughs> 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 75% off for three days. Oh, wow. You the top <laughs> one, top point zero one percent mm. Yeah, the yeah, top top content creator 1%. And then you sign up and you still got to pay extra for more. Fuck. 
fucking great. My wife Always and I gotta pay extra. My wife and I buy people's OnlyFans that we know, and we just take the piss out of them. It's hilarious. <laughs> we sit on the lounge <laughs> and just laugh and go, "Oh, that's gross. I can see her butt." <laughs> and do you just I bought Nikocado avocados. Do you know him? Wait, he has what? one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Nikocado avocado has a huge OnlyFans. Probably one of the highest um, OnlyFans. Oh my god, it's gonna be like people that are into that foodies, like stopping oh, us stuff, crushing my food. Phone. Hang on, hang on. I mean, I'm on it. I'm, I'm going already. You don't need, if you don't feel like, do you, wait, are you subbed currently? I might have a recording. I won't show it on camera. No, but we'll take it. And why is it on your home screen? <laughs> uh, because my son hasn't really like affected me enough to make my home this screen yet. <laughs> this one though affected me. So I had to send this to my Nico. Nick. No, maybe it's not there. Dude, this is crazy. It is it is a wild world, and then no, you not- like hearing this story. I'm like, dear God, of so, course this is a thing. He, um, are you sub- subbing to it now? I'm I'm looking. I'm taking a I'm taking a, a gander. I am I am heading in that direction. I haven't found it yet. Uh, so he, I was like thinking he's just going to eat on there. He might do it with his shirt off and stuff like that. Maybe he swears, dude. It's full frontal hardcore porn. Is it? So the, one of the first images we saw in there, my wife and I reacted to it. I can tell by Batty's face right now. It's, he's telling the truth. <laughs> I'm about to waste $15. That's a good thing I'm wearing my this shirt today. You can get over at bunkerbranding.com, tax right off. Fuck, you sound like me. I, my company card bought all the OnlyFans subscriptions and I just made a video about it and then it's a... It's a oh, tax I'm right off. It's exactly. great. Oh, yeah, guys, we have Night to D's Nuts and Tax Right Off, our new merch for the month. I, and we got Tied to Texas. Where yes. do you get that from? Uh, from Archery Country in Austin. Great there place you, to go. There you go. <laughs> they just get a random shout out. They're like, ah, uh, what's actually, going we on? Met, we met the dude Tyler who run, runs Archery Country in, in Austin. He's a fucking legend. Just such a nice dude. He took us in and we met Rogan the other night in oh, at, um, yeah. at oh, the, the Mothership. Um, him and uh, Adam, Gre- Adam Greentree hooked that up for us. So shout oh, out to yeah. them because I had the biggest stiffy. Talking about stiffies, what do you got? Stiffy. Batty, you put the phone down? Why don't... Yeah, you're going to need that. Why don't we pick an image <laughs> no. and your Mm-mm. first, you know, sort of it's introduction... It's the first... I, I, <laughs> I think it's the one I... I don't know if it's the one. Oh, no, it's, this is the new top first. I just, the I pinned, just opened... The pinned post. Is it, maybe it's pinned. I can don't I, know. I didn't I, get that far. Can I have a look? I've seen fucked up Are you sure? Yeah. Can I have a look? <laughs> kind of. We're just gonna. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. What? I, I need that. To... Nah, don't show. Nah, me. don't show. Him. Are you saving don't me? Don't show. Him. Don't show. You got, you got nah, me. nah. I don't think you're ready. Yeah. I know you're a very nice guy. I've known you for forty minutes, but I don't think you're ready. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Some heroes. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Show him. Show him. Definitely show him. Definitely show him. <laughs> Give it to me, Betty. Just do I've a been quick, in. just a quick swipe. One Please little... describe, describe in. We're fucking this profile picture is the Grand Canyon leading into a human body. Yeah, wait till you see the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are currently. Uh, okay, I'm gonna explain this. Your sh- mouth is describing what you're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys watched when Luke was going to be thrown into the what's the pit? The Sarlacc pit. The Sarlacc pit. Yeah. <laughs> this is the what Boba Fett the, the Tatooine, and yeah. Luke fought over. Boba Fett, yeah. No, no. Why would you? It has $25 in tips. Who's tipping that? So are we going, what, how do we describe it to the people? Go see. Let me throw up. He is spreading. He is full spread butcher. It's Goatsy, but with... Not go avocado, whatever it's fucking. <laughs> you know when you, you spread Gats- your up- goatee? Nah. Bro, wait, how old are you? 30. Oh, you're at that cusp of like. Where He's it's old, weird- it's fine. You can say it. That was well, that internet of what you got introduced to. So goatee's the oh, OG. Sick. That. Right. I was around for lemon party and stuff. Lemon party? Yeah, goatee's the same, same age as lemon party. Yeah, it's that's the where dude I'm surprised you're trying to rip his asshole open. Right. Good. So like we're talking one man, one jar, the yeah, original. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. But goatee was an don't, image. Don't look that up. Don't, don't go. Well, yeah, I don't have to do that. But like that's where all the memes came from. For a, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what? The first time I saw one man, one jar, I felt physically ill. 
That is one of the only videos I can watch. Olympics? I, yeah, I Pain Olympics is mm -hmm. fucked too. I don't know why I could watch Pain Olympics over One Guy, One Jar. One Guy, One Jar is the one video. You know what I think it, it, it was reaching in and pulling the shards of it's glass. It's the noise. Was, the yeah, noise. Oh, that like pop, the, that muffled. And the shards going up against each other, like the fingernails down the blackboard. Man, nothing's made me you know harder. What's crazy? I don't think we've ever talked about any of this shit on, on Unsub uh, before. Uh, well, we've talked about like. I'm here. <laughs> Heather Harmon, uh, ideeptoe.com. OG her. Heather? I didn't no, know her. I still no, yeah. no. Oh my god. Just it's OG porn. Yeah, she was like the Kazaa girl back in the day. But for videos, hardcore because you had like two girls, one cup, uh, one guy, one jar, which is still and one guy one screwdriver, which is the same guy. Screwdriver? The same guy. Did you know that? No. One guy, one jar is the same guy as one guy, one screwdriver. What is the screwdriver one? I don't, oh, I, I don't know this. I don't know. Not, how, G Van, I don't know how you're gonna do this. I'm gonna describe it. You're just going, you might have to bleep some words. Yeah. Put a box over my face or mouth, and I'm going to explain it. You just, just cut to just the reactions. Put a, just cut to me. It's so. fine. Hi, everyone. G-Van here. I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Ryan Reynolds was born October 23rd, 1976, and at the age of 46 years old, still looks good as fuck. He is a Canadian and American actor, businessman, comedian, film producer, investor, and philanthropist. He began his career starring in the Canadian teen soap opera Hillside between 1991 and 93, and had minor roles before landing the lead role on the sitcom Two Guys and a Girl between 98 and 2001. Ryan Reynolds then starred in a range of films including comedies such as National Lampoon's Van Wilder in 02, Waiting in 05, and The Proposal in 09. Gents, I had no idea driving here that I'd have an erection this entire podcast, but <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. I love, don't mess with Texas, baby. <laughs> you have joined the conversation. Morgan Brown, ladies and gentlemen, our <laughs> driver. Like, yes, Morgan, you would like to add something? Are you sure you don't want to drink a lot today? No. <laughs> yes, mate. That's why we're late, because I was. And now I you're am. like, I could have done this at the podcast. <laughs> These guys are cool like that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, me and Eli over here were like, why are we getting age restricted on YouTube again? <laughs> Betty, what are you doing? Huh? Well, I was what? downloading a car on my phone. You wouldn't download a car, would you? Doing it right now. Are you at least using ExpressVPN? Why would I ever do that? Well, you not. You might not. Well, you might not know this, but uh, one of the scary things is your uh, phone provider might be collecting your data. They'll know I'm downloading a car. Yeah. Yeah. They say it so they can better understand your interests, but really, it's so they can sell your data to advertisers. Wait, you mean like the websites and stuff I visited online? They know exactly what you're looking at, Eli. The more they can get on you, the larger their paycheck becomes, which is why we use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is an app that prevents your phone carrier from being able to see the sites you visit and sell off to third parties. All it takes is the tap of one button and all your data is encrypted and rerouted through ExpressVPN's private and secure servers. Not only does it shield your web browsing, ExpressVPN protects all your network data so you can stay private even when you're using your favorite apps. Whether you're on iPhone, Android, or even a tablet user, ExpressVPN works on all your devices. The best part, one subscription can be used on up to five devices at one time. When your phone carrier tracks you, that's a gross invasion of privacy, brother. You can either keep letting them cash in on you or visit expressvpn.com slash unsub to get the same VPN we use. Take back your online privacy today and use our link and get three extra months of ExpressVPN for free. That's e x p r e s s v p n dot com slash unsub. Yes, I had to read that kind of with the eyes. That's why they went to G Van Go to Batty. ExpressVPN dot com slash unsub. Yeah, no, I enjoy all the Pain Olympics and stuff. It's great. We we pl played that video at our wedding day. It was great. <laughs> You're like in this one. And uh, look, everybody, we've seen yeah. some fucked up shit. There's a reason we're all broken. Oh yeah, all the we should not have been here for the birth of the internet. I we weren't ready. One girl, one cup came, or two girls, one cup came out mid tour leave in Iraq. Cause I remember going home. Is that break in war? 15 months of war is like seven month mark. I get home. You're like, that ah, video is like internet. drops. And I'm like, oh my God, I get to show all the guys back home. What if I missed Iraq? <laughs> so then I come back to guys, war. Bro, I'm I like, got some God, porn for God, you. God, look. Look. <laughs> all the dudes are freaking out. Send me back to Fallujah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, we are fucked. <laughs> 
dude. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. It's it, the whole, the, those people are known for those things, which just blows my mind. Like, imagine being known for that. Like, that's being the two girls, one cup girl. Apparently, they went on to make other films as well with this company in Brazil, maybe. But how do you top that? You can't. You can't. You are, it's a viral thing where it's you're a like, one hit wonder. Yeah, you're. And one you, shit wonder. One shit wonder that you you're not gonna get a call about. You <laughs> no one's gonna aren't. be like, get the two girls, one cup <laughs> girls out Fuck here man. right now after watching that video. That's yeah. It's it's uh. But uh, did the jar guy die? I want to know what jar guy looks like. I don't know. I know what jar guy looks like. In I, my I head. know what jar guy looks. Like, <laughs> we know what a lot. But I don't of know what he looks look like. like it's actually her. Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> Allegedly. 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 Christ. The guy's name is Alexei Todorov. He was Russia, Russian. Russian. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, of course okay. he was Russian. Checks out. It's cold over there. It's, I mean, bored. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of boredom. <laughs> I, well, I'm, not, I'm bored. What to do today? What in the world am I going to do today? <laughs> just looking at the jar, a screwdriver, just a line of different. Well, maybe it like, just didn't mm-hmm. fit in his like, recycling bin. And he was like, well, what am I going to do with it now? <laughs> Wow. I just picture his wife is somewhere where he has to. There's an IMDb. The I hope so. I hope she wasn't in the lounge room. It's always just the prison, and that's how he's just like trying to get his wife a screwdriver. He's in. He's trying to break his innocent wife out. We can build a lore for him. <laughs> yeah. He he'd have to have like like prisons have. They have like the outline or schools have the outline of the tool. And at the end of the day, she's like, "Hey, where's the wrench?" <laughs> He's like, oh, the first was the screwdriver. And then she's like, how am I supposed to get this rubble out? I need a jar. <laughs> that way she can scoop it in there, shove it out in the yard. <laughs> it's fucking horrifying. He's a hero. That's horrifying. There was, I forget what uh, Sears was talking about. It's it's altering um, these mm-hmm. events and giving stories about it. It would be like that, what we just did. Like a fan fiction. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah, fan yeah, yeah. fiction. I forget who it was, but it was... I, don't feel I, I think this I've idea seen too is many things today. Fucking hilarious! It is the idea of, um, you know, everyone's like, if you could go back, if you could travel time, you go back and kill Hitler's, kill yeah, Hitler's yeah, a baby, yeah. right? Now you have a movie, and the two main characters are Hitler's parents not understanding why people are traveling back in time to kill their kid. That is, <laughs> so that they're is becoming hilarious. like assassins. No, they don't know what's going on. They have to fight them off, and then yeah. they. Oh my god! You're fighting time travelers. I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't. Think you wouldn't know. <laughs> you don't know. You're like, you what wouldn't the know. Fuck? Why is everyone trying to murder my baby? <laughs> And now we know why Hitler hates people. Yeah, because everyone's trying to kill him. 40 he was constantly trying to get killed when he was a baby. In the 40s. Mate, I uh, I wouldn't kill Hitler. I'd just tell him about vegan people and hope that that takes over. <laughs> that influenced it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like, like, okay, sure, we don't like the Jews, but, <laughs> but these silence. people are Have you, seen, have you <laughs> seen people that bike on the sidewalk? <laughs> it's the Jew character. And you're like, no, no, no. You rip that down. You're like, no. these, these, these vegans. vegans. <laughs> vegan <laughs> cyclists. Yeah, we uh, fucking hate them. <laughs> So you guys are, are you guys are into the gaming, right? I want to ask what? a question. You like gaming? I like this gaming, gaming podcast. What are your thoughts on <laughs> Pokemon? Not a fan? No. What? Batty, show the leg. Show me your leg, please. <laughs> I'm going to get it all the way up. No, oh, I have a wow. Pokemon legacy from ankle to hip. Holy shit. So I've got a Pokemon channel on YouTube. What? Oh, yeah, I open, what? I open Pokemon cards on a, on a oh, channel shit. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but wait, you're okay. So now we're into the segment of unsub where we talk. We are tech. We're the top three podcasts in the world for gaming and top ten in the anime. Wow, we just dabble in those once, spots. once a month. We accidentally talk about anime or gaming. Like five minutes for every well, episode. We're here like, you got Pokemon. It so I got a. I, I just recently started it, so it doesn't have a big following. But I used to do it on my second channel. Uh, the, my wife and I now make videos on little butts mom, but both butts mom Pokemon. I open video. I open Pokemon cards every week. Oh and shit! That's that's, that's fucking awesome. I, love no, it. I did a lot of breaks for a very long time. Really? Yeah. There you go. I used yeah, to do it I on love Twitch. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good fun. It's unfortunately, so it's fun. extremely expensive. You holding some old, some older stuff, or are you um, doing like the newer stuff? I'm doing the newer stuff. I right. had have opened a lot of like base set packs and Ye- fossil absolutely. and jungle packs, but um, I've now sort of started collecting graded versions of those packs. That's what I'm Hell collecting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got rid of all my slabs that were um, like the graded slabs. slabs. Yeah, yeah, and I, just, I recently did the same because yeah. I'm just taking up too much room. Yeah, they take. Like, this is crazy. Like I a whole have, cupboard. I have a box for you, literally of. All the extra, car- I we do Magic the Gathering, yep. so it's I'm obsessed with MT- Magic. Yeah, is a problem. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. MTG and we have 
very expensive decks. Like one of our commander decks is like two to three, and then yours is like five. $6, I, I, I have a five or six thousand yeah. dollar deck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we we're just like, oh, build them, build them further back. But it was we spending money on cars, doing all that at Pokemon. Same way, used Tax to get those. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I think screen. the best, like my best card, like I've got a PSI PSA nine. Base set Charizard. That was my original, my first card, nice. which isn't isn't crazy. No, no, but no. I've got a PSA ten graded uh, Shadowless Charizard pack. That's my best. Oh, the, the actual pack, the actual That's pack cool. by PSA. So that was cool. That was did cool you buy it graded back. or did you have it graded? I had it graded, Ooh. which was much cool. So it was uh, light. Oh, you got a ten out the yeah. So it was a light pack though, right? Yeah. No, it's heavy. <gasps> you yeah. graded a heavy pack. Yep. Because what's I, wrong with I'll you? I'll tell you why. Because I want to have it there for another forty years. And I worry that it could be water damage. It could be whatever. True. And true. I, I've cracked PSA packs open all the mm-hmm. like before. It's not hard. Yeah. You just get some pliers. You and just cut the corners. Cut the corners, and you break yep. it out. So I do that with all my all my packs that I want to keep sealed. I grade them. I've got a, a a good company in Australia that does it for me for real cheap. T, TCG grading. If you're in Australia, TCG. Um, he he does it. And I do it because I, th- I think that's the best way to keep them protected. True. Uh, I wouldn't do it necessarily with uh, PSA. Because uh, it's so expensive to do it from Australia, so I, if, if you are going to one day crack them open, and so I want to open them up with, with my son one day when he's old enough to sort of to understand, understand what's going on, yeah, the, 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 what, what the situation is. So I, I did the same with other other sets like Champions Path, like because yeah. it's a oh, Charizard to Chase to, pack. Yep. Mm-hmm. I've got thirty six packs of that sitting up there in the cupboard for when he's older, yeah. and the same with Hidden Fates. So I'll do those with him when he when he gets older, but. Dude, man, I, I really enjoy it. I love. I've been, I've been making him some folders, uh, some uh, some binders at the moment, just full of cards that I pull. Fuck yeah, and all that type that's of stuff. awesome. Why are you a good dad? I know. I try my best. Try my best. I try my best. <laughs> See, I don't yeah. have kids. I just. I'm just a child, the man child. But there's a, I man, I love Pokemon, and I I, I almost started buying uh, Magic the Gathering cards with the Lord oh, of the Rings bro. crossover, but I thought bro. to myself, I thought, nah, this is this, is, this is too much. This is, is too because I can't. Expensive. It's, well, it's like it's gambling, right? It's literally gambling. It's literally gambling. I can't just bet on gambling. the football and the baseball and everything else. You got to pick one. So mine's Pokemon at the moment. No, totally fair. Um, because yeah, we do. I collect video games more than any, like sealed. I have old games. I've just never. I have games from like the two thousands and nineties that yeah. I never open. I just be like okay. I've and got I, a San Andreas and a um and another GTA graded. That's it, dude. I never graded any of them. Like I've World of Warcraft collector's edition mm-hmm. from OG and that's last time I checked on eBay like the last unopened one sold for like 30 grand what oh bro like Shit. a lot yeah, oh yeah these like, is that is that raw or is that graded never, yeah not graded yeah. no oh, these wow. ones are these the, like the last ones have just been selling for that not yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Wow. I mean, you know, it's not oh, great yeah. it's not in a case or anything yeah, come yeah. on Mike get, this, into, the, get yeah. into the gaming community I for know, a second I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm like uh, but the terminology it, <laughs> oh, I don't do the collect I just collect and then don't send it in I just keep them in my safe yeah, I'm yeah. like okay it's good. well I need a bigger safe that's my thing I, I never thought it would get to this point because it was it was a, like it was only like a safe like that big but I was like fuck man I need a bigger one yeah. it was ridiculous you're like I need mine is 2,000 pounds I have a gun safe that holds everything yeah so that's what i need the, yeah, the garage like, safe because you can't get it in the house anymore yep yeah oh yeah the garage safe that's what the, yeah. we have garage safes that go I, they stay in the garage because when people come to move it when you move houses you don't move those safes nah. anywhere but a garage because the it's movers come in like okay what are we oh no <laughs> fuck oh well, well it's heavy I, I took the guns out though that's what you get paid <laughs> for mate <Yeah>. move it <laughs> No, I just um, uh, I actually sold off a bunch of my Pokemon stuff, my my spare my bulk yeah. graded stuff because I had hundreds and hundreds of slabs, and I kept like all my favorite stuff, like all my Gyaradoses. Like I still have a my I think my favorite card I have is a a PSA six Shining Rayquaza. So like that's that's a huge one. That's one of the you know the the first you know Shining Rayquaza they did back when they did like the uh, Shining Charizard and all those, I but. Get- I just like you're a good parent. He's gonna be the one that's like, here, I got you these box cards. Imagine if our parents back in the day they got us like boxes of magic. Yeah, and all Dad. This. Yeah. Imagine if you just bought me some Pokemon cards. It's your fault. That that my dad watches Batty, this. He's a piece of shit. Batty <laughs> Senior. Batty Senior. That's your name. <laughs> Batty Senior. He's, he's, he's called Batty Daddy. <laughs> Batty Daddy. <laughs> but it's, those, those man. I, have you seen those videos when they go up to someone's attic? There was one years ago, and they went up to the attic. I hated uh, all those videos. And there was this tied up woman. 
and no, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, there was like there was like all these base set uh, booster boxes sealed and stuff. Someone had collected. And they worked for the Pokemon company, and, oh, and they just kept them. Up and there. they kept them all. Like man, that's like the dream. Like going oh to a garage God. sale and seeing that. Did you watch the, the dream? Uh, I I sent it to Batty. It's this lady that's husband. I don't know if he passed. She, her and, husband passed. Yeah, it, it, she, she goes to a binder road show. Antique road show with a oh. binder. She's like, I don't know, they're magic cards or magic something, and it is all like the Black Lotus mocks, yep. perfect condition, and they're all there. Like she has the uh, the was it the Power Nine? Power yeah, nine. it was a Power Nine. It was a binder of like the original Alpha before magic was a real thing. Wow. The original set, and it was just like worth and tens like of thousands of dollars, and That's some of the cards, crazy. hundreds of thousands of dollars per card. And she did not know what she. <laughs> her face went like she was like, "Oh my dumb ex husband or past husband collected these. They're dumb cards." And the dude's like, "Okay, whoa, whoa, yeah. my god!" And she's like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. just getting into that ground floor. It's any type of investing. I mean, I know a yeah. lot of people try to do it with MetaZoo. Yeah, yeah, uh, I've seen that a ton actually. MetaZoo's Meta like uh, who it, made it, that." Uh, I don't I don't know who made it, but I, I watched a bunch of videos about it. It's just another TCG mm-hmm. that did like Kickstarters and early access stuff, like kind of like to try to replicate that magic alpha beta before it actually went public, and then people can buy all their packs and stuff now. Like but it's fun, but you don't know. If, it, it's the hard part. It's like what's I'm actually what's the new one? Flesh and Blood. That's the I don't one. I don't follow that that closely but i know there's like there was one with like the mothman and like yeah yeah it's that yeah. Stuff. yeah they they, they grab there's some cryptids i've, and I've shit got there. them yeah like, i've got them there but it doesn't excite me in the same way with the nostalgia of pokemon like i grew mm-hmm. up in you know the you know well in the 90s but yeah 2000s when i started to really that i can remember back to and pokemon was on the tv and all that type of stuff it was and the coolest fucking shit yeah like, oh i got an entire pokemon oh yeah like, will's pokemon fucking dude board. will oh my god will's covered dude that's will's sick, crushing man. that thing. that's holy yeah. shit will's crushing yeah that. i've done a lot of work recently on it i love how he makes his reds pop yeah so oh, working right. on it <laughs> I've just got my dogs tattooed on me. That's all I've got. <laughs> oh, and my son's name. That's about it. That's hey, about it. Hey, there we go. Hey, you got my son's name too. Yeah, right? I got my own name tattooed <laughs> on me. Hey. Hey. The, I actually just bought... Um, I've been... <laughs> Because we have kiddos, we were discussing that. But Lanky, Lanky Box, Lanky, whatever the YouTube channel is, just bought their stuff, bought just all their toys, different ones, and just was like, okay, this is going in the safe just in case. Just in case. Because watching know. those, bro, if you, I had a heart attack today looking at those, they're, they do kids' content. They're mm-hmm. just like, oh, like we have our stuffed animals and we play video games. They do four That's videos weird. a day. Wow. A day? I thought I was wrong. I was like, no, the fuck. It was four to five videos a single day. Each video in a week will have a million views. Four to five videos a day. Oh my God. One mil. Every day, it, every video, the day they go up, it's 100 to 200,000. Yeah, I play games with a stuffed animal too. Fuck shit. They have 30 million subs. Their toys are in all things. And these are 28 year old, 27 year old dudes now. And they they just sit there like, hey, and you can tell. Like I was looking out, I was like, oh, these dudes are doing it for the paycheck now. <laughs> They're just there to be like, They've oh my god, out. we're having so much fun, ha ha ha, hey, yeah. They're just there for the content now. Yeah. You've seen what they tried in the past, and then like, yo, this is our cash cow. We're gonna. They're run. waiting till that contract <laughs> ends, and they're just gonna. <laughs> oh no, they they don't need to. They're like, have look- they got kids? I don't know if they do. There, I mean, they're if they don't. It's up. weird now. Yeah, because <laughs> everything's like they're estimated. I was like, man, these dudes at What's least a hundred million dollars, and it's like net worth over a hundred million, which is a What's right the channel for, called uh, Lanky Box. So I think I think I should turn heel and just make kids content, bro. I that's my what I son. Do. It's, I I Ryan and me and him have done videos for uh, how he watches his video. Ought to, you've seen probably even your brother. They'll rewatch the same fucking thing. Yeah, man. Wiggles and the hooly doolies. Every time. So Ryden watches his videos multiple times. And when we watch, he makes his own videos. He makes, he has 6,000 videos on his iPad that really? he just makes. Yeah, unboxing. Yeah, good. And I'm like, oh my God. If kids just watch this, they'd just be like, oh, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to watch it. On this is YouTube. an hour and a half video that has 2.5 million views. Oh, all their videos are an hour or two. <laughs> Oh my god! How many ads do you put on that? Oh, oh three, or just sell your own merch because all the kids love the merch, and their merch is expensive. Yeah, yeah. Like you're looking at their. Just- well, the kids aren't paying. No, mom and dad's pocket. That's it. That's how you got to uh, the target. What the fuck? 
they're, they're, they have mystery boxes, which cost them probably a dollar to make. They're $20 yep. for a shitty mystery box that has stickers in it, one little plushie, and a squishy. What's their social blade stats? Do you know? Oh, I get it, bro. I don't even want to know. I know oh, that. Look. I know that. Let me have a Google. What's, what's show how, like their views are insane, right? What's, what's Two their days name? ago, 300,000 views. Uh, like, and they're all an hour. And those kids, you know, are watching what's every the channel name. Sorry. Lanky, Lanky box. box. Lanky box. I've seen that. Viewers oh out there God. are listening, watching. This is, if you want, like, you can make fun of these two individuals. They are geniuses and entrepreneurs for pivoting to what they did. Because their families, their family families, their kids, 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 kids will never have to work a day in their goddamn life. Anywhere between and up to $52 million a year. And <laughs> that's from YouTube earnings. Now, that's not always close. So let's play it in the middle. $30 million a year from YouTube, maybe. And then add. And then, and add then sponsors. Sponsors. And then, yeah, you're talking. And merch. 100 mil easy. Merch because their merch is toys and Walmart, Target, everything. That's fucking crazy. Bro, like, those are the ones where you see it, you, would you do it? It'd be the hardest content, especially four episodes a day oh. at an hour to, 20 minutes to an hour, and you're just like, fuck. Then you look at that paycheck, and you're like, I'm making kids happy, too. That's not too bad. No. Well, I am money, so huh? upset right now. <laughs> <laughs> we, the Wiggles, blue, the Blue Wiggle Anthony, he follows me on Instagram, and he's made an absolute killing. I couldn't even imagine how much money they have made. Oh, and still. Like, and still, still yeah. I, you know, they started off as the cockroaches. That wasn't as a catch, is it? No, it's not the same. But they were called <laughs> the cockroaches. Got, for some reason, I don't feel as like maybe that's not were. the right one. Mr. Wiggles. Well, we started it off as fucking vagina death bleed. Kids didn't like that. Vagina so we death, death bleed. The Wiggles. <laughs> the Wiggles' first name. I'm sure it was. I remember the Wiggles. I hate that I know the Wiggles. <laughs> Uh, and then I was actually going to ask you about yeah. uh, Mr. In Between. Have you watched it? Mr. In Between. Have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, the one that went viral on TikTok. Did it? Yeah, it did. Did it go viral on TikTok? No, I've never watched it, but I saw it on, like, there were clips on TikTok with. Oh, there is funny clip. Like, it, it, you like it? It is. Unbelievably good show. Really? Unbelievably. Yeah. I might check it out. Mm-hmm. It is. I mean, one of the first. Yeah, I was pissing. I said that. Huh. <laughs> no, he was like, was it called that? And he started No, I was just double checking my stats. I said Stay out of the Daddy fucking Daddy. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on the couch over there. Get in the Go car. Over. Turn the air conditioner on in the car. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> Go sit in the car. <laughs> <laughs> no, the uh, Mr. In Between is Australian show, but the black comedy. It's but a that's show about. No. <laughs> in Between. <laughs> Oh my god! Do you the box? Bleak, there it is. Bleak 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 <laughs> You're like, ding. Have you have you never seen the show? Though? No, I've seen clips. I've seen clips, but I've seen it come up on. I think it's on uh, Amazon or something in Australia. But I should watch it. Uh, some of the best acting. So the director also wrote and is the main actor. Oh really? It. The bald dude. Yeah. yeah and okay, then yeah. he did his three seasons, and they wanted to renew pay a lot. And he's like, No, I finished the story. That's it. Wow. That's all you get. I hate people who do that. As as a capitalist, money hungry pig myself, <laughs> I will sell. Someone you're said so good in America. You're oh, so you're good. Here. Fitting right someone in. said something the other day, like I can't believe you'd sell out like this. I was like, really? Do you know me at all? I would absolutely. I'd sell my soul. I don't give Every a motherfucker says they wouldn't sell out. I would immediately They'd sell, sell out. out. Yeah. We, immediately. We've discussed this multiple times. It's because we we ask how us, much money would you suck? How, how much money for you to suck a dick right now? At least it has to be 150 bucks. <laughs> See, because we've had people paying for gas. Like, no, I, me home. honestly, a billion dollars. We had, of course, they, they were like, they were like, <laughs> yeah. they would be like, no, I would have su- sucking a dick on camera for a billion dollars. What are your friends going to think? I don't care. They could call me I'll gay bu- as I fly I'll off. I'll buy them a car. They'll, yeah. get, they'll get over it. Yeah. <laughs> but gay, I'm like, yep. Yeah, exactly. And as I fly <laughs> away into fl- space. <laughs> Man, you set, you think about what you do, like you set up your entire family and their family and all that type of stuff with a billion dollars. Just their families, just for families, families, families. One, yeah, for one, one dish, dick. Do you know how many dicks I would suck for a million for a billion dollars? Yeah, for you haven't tell me the lie. A million. <laughs> yeah, for a million. You know how many dicks I suck for a million dollars? <laughs> They're like, you have to suck one dick for a billion dollars. That's it. Two. I don't think I don't think I'd do it for a million. 
A million? Really? On camera? On camera? No, I wouldn't do it for a million. I can't do it for a mil. You wouldn't camera. do it for a mil? No, on camera. Just tax-free $1 million in your bank account tomorrow. No. You wouldn't suck a dick right now. No, that one I can't. You're lying. No, I can't. You're a liar. No, I'm not struggling. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm like, I, eh. You've seen Nick Ricardo Avocados. Ten million. Oh. Would you suck his cock for a million dollars? There you go, baddie. Oh, not him. Not oh, him. Okay. Well, well, I've seen his asshole now. now I'm you have not a okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Ten mil. Oh, yeah. Probably. Then I'd think about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah probably. See? Ten mil. There's. A, you can. It's there's always, a, that there's line. always a line, it's always dude. That line, and then people are like, "I would never." And then the line changes to like, "Maybe." And then it's if the money was in front of them, it drops yeah. even it's more. It's like tax free. Get- there's a pallet of ten mil in front of you right now, but I'd be like, "Oh, let me take my shirt off or something." But I don't want to ruin like it. Ten mil. If I was like, "You're like, I'll do it," and I cut it half. And there's still a pile. You'd be like, I'll still do it. Well, <laughs> like, I, I, you're instantly like, 100%. it still looks good. Apparently, there was a dude in San Antonio giving away a G wagon for a blowjob. Maddie, is that where you got your? <laughs> oh, is that? Uh, oh my God! Did you, <laughs> what do you mean? Did you win? Oh wow, that's great, man! I was wondering how you got that. I'm just thing. happy for you. <sighs> was worth it? it. Nico, I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I saw his asshole today. It's not funny. It's not funny anymore. You see his dick? Out. No, oh, I stopped. I, I stopped immediately. I couldn't. I reviewed mm-hmm. it for thirty minutes. I did. You see? What? Thirty it's minutes. You see his boyfriend? Fuck him. What? Yeah. Wait, is that on there? Yeah. It's full on porn. It's great. Mm-mm. I reviewed it on my YouTube channel. Because he makes decent money. Yeah, well, he, through that he does too. I can't how imagine much the amount of money he makes off that. He does merch. He does YouTube videos. He probably makes, I don't know, two mil, three mil a year on YouTube. He'd be making, I don't know what, on merch. But on OnlyFans, he's got a fair few. I don't know who's doing that. Like even gay dudes. Like, come on, mate. Surely you've got some fucking standards. <laughs> That's it. Like if I, if I, yeah. How many, how many, how many of his subs do you think like this? Like, all right, I'll take a look real quick. There's a lot. No. Morbid curiosity takes morbid up a lot. Morbid curiosity, of yeah. Those are those yeah. one like five yeah. second. Way. Like his retention time is trash. Well, there's a girl called. Um, <laughs> he has the worst retention time. Oh, yeah. It's like just drops off instantly. There's a girl called uh, Vegan Booty in Australia. Uh, Tash Peterson and I made a video on her. She's a very outspoken vegan activist, and I made a video on her OnlyFans where I reviewed that as well, and uh, <laughs> because that's my channel. And she made the next day. She made like twenty grand just from the video being made because more people signed up. Did she you made, say thank you? Yeah, she or she, she came on my podcast and she was told me and she loved it. She was like, man, it was really really cool. So, dude, it's crazy. That was like, hey, all right, like that. there you go. Well, yeah. Yeah. But again, as you're saying with like Nico Avocado, like why are people searching that one out specifically? Because you you are when I go to J O, it's like big boobs, <laughs> ass or something like that. You're just very specific. Why are you such not, a not child? ugly fat dude. <laughs> you mean you don't search <laughs> naked bottles. girls? <laughs> um, but that is what you get there with Nico Avocado: big boobs and a fat ass. <laughs> I it. He's, he's so fucking, it's gross. The like, Sarlax pit. <laughs> like wherever Leon, Leonidas kicked those people. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> wherever Gandalf <laughs> fell down. Yeah. <laughs> Good. It was his asshole. You shall not pass. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Wait, you have a podcast? How long have you been doing that for? I don't do it anymore. Oh. But I do one with my wife. Okay. It's called the Mum and Dad Show. It's fantastic. Oh. Yeah, we do it together, and we are uh, we have our, our little boy in there, and he just sort of sleeps whenever he's sleeping. We do the podcast, so uh, we just do these little half an hour episodes. It's good fun. We we talk some no mad shit. shit. Yeah, we just <laughs> the kid. I just picture shit. it's like this. It's like there's that little fucker just sleeping. Oh, we do, we do. We start off the podcast like that, and then by the end we're all yelling. But it, we talk about parenting and fuckwits and all that type of stuff. Just people in general. So it's a good podcast. You should check it out. But what's the uh, name of it? Hey, uh, the Mum and Dad Show. It's just the mom and dad show? Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, you didn't put um, the your name or anything in nah, there? Nah, fuck them. Well, there we go. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, if they can't they're find it, if you can't find it, it you don't deserve it. Yeah. Um, but no, I just, you know, I'm just making my YouTube videos, fuck doing yeah. comedy shows and uh, getting them out. What's your, what's your favorite style content that you're doing right now? Because you have a you have a different, like it's reacts, it's it's I do a bit commentary. of everything. Yeah. Political then, yeah, commentaries, social reacts, all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the TikTok reaction videos. They're fun to film. Uh, but anything about – because I'm currently being taken in front of the Australian Human Rights Commission uh, over a joke that I told about Aboriginal people. Um, and I've been cancelled. So that's why you're in America. 
just get me out of the show. <laughs> um, so I've been cancelled, properly cancelled in the media and stuff about four times. Mm-hmm. Once for a Jew joke, once for a Muslim joke, once for a joke about kids who died in a jumping castle and once for uh, an a Aboriginal jumping joke. Jumping, jumping castle. castle. They were kids that in a jumping castle? Yeah, like 12 kids, but I think those numbers are inflated. That was the joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> <and> Fuck the, them kids. <laughs> The Premier, the Governor of Tasmania, wanted me banned from the state because of that joke. And I've been around long enough to know that cancellations are good. You sell more tickets. So I started like making videos on it and talking about it just to try and beef yeah, it you're up. Yeah, a businessman. Like, um, but, yeah, the Aboriginal uh, joke, it got a lot of hate, even though it was just – it was a pretty far, it, it was a silly joke. It was about transgender people and Aboriginal people. And um, anyway, the uh, – what it came from that was the, the Human Rights Commission in Queensland, sorry, uh, got in touch with me because one lady complained and then I had to, I have to basically go in front of the court uh, and they may charge me, they may fine me, they might uh, d- uh, determine that I need to f- uh, be uh, educated and apologise. Because one, wait, this is, wait, because this is the real. joke you have to go through now, they're like you. I have to travel to a different state. And front their uh, panel of how far is this travel? By the way, oh, it, it, by well, let's Even say it's still. I'm not gonna. How about I drive? It's like nine hours, dude. This is like, oh my god, this is going to another state. And this is another Texas. state. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's very similar because Australia That's, and America are the same size, right? Yeah. So this is like going to another state uh, to face and apologize. It's like getting called into the principal's office. <laughs> Because of a joke, a joke that I don't believe and is not real and is pretend like all of the other like jokes, jokes from the hour and a half I was on stage, but this lady cho- chose one thing that she saw on TikTok to complain about. It is absolutely insane. It's the same in Canada. Jordan Peterson copped the same thing about tweets he was having. He needs to be re- re-educated as well and that's what uh, the decision was passed down to him just last week. We talked about that with uh, one of our, I want to say Chris or Wes is one of their buddies got Yes. Fuck, um, what was that? He got like, it was sued or something. Mm-hmm. It was sued. There's a full on lawsuit about a joke. In Canada? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was Mike Ward, was that? Um, I believe, because mm-hmm. he made a joke about a, a deaf kid or something. I don't know how. Holy the- shit, that's their friend. Yeah. yeah so that, like, they were on the, because they're friends, like close friends yep. with him. So they were, yep. get, holy shit. That's so great. I don't know how the kid heard it, <laughs> but it was, <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> You're welcome. Come and check me out, isabelville.com. <laughs> a true comedian. Um, but, yeah, no, it, it's crazy, man, to, to, th- to consider that that is an option uh, and that is a punishment that some people are dealt. So, How do you deal with that when you're like, hey, okay, now I have this thing where I have to be worried about uh, maybe and what's the worst fine? What's well, the just, worst thing? I'm not sure. No one can really sit because it hasn't been tested, and it sets a real awful precedent too. I'll oh, say so, yeah. So you're the you're the litmus test here. You're, I am. You're about I'm to figure the guinea out. pig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, so, but what? So this is this is about human rights, right? So it sort of goes in conjunction with your your gender, your race, mm-hmm. your ethnicity, and your religion. So now we can't make jokes in Australia about. Christians, Catholics, Muslims, Buddhists, whatever. Well, you can't. So religions now. Well, if this, from the if table. I get fined, then no one can make joke about a joke about Christian people because they're, Muslim they're people open to be fined because yeah. they could be fined. That is the precedent. Yeah, that that's this the precedent sets. that gets that. Yep. So what happens? I think they'll eventually just throw it out because it is absolutely ridiculous, and I haven't heard anything from them in a few months. But I'm waiting. I've got lawyers at the ready. We're going to attack this head on, and we're going to make a big fucking deal out of it because it is outrageous. Because it's Comedy. Because it's comedy, not a fucking capitalist society. Well, not a fucking said, communist society, rather. It was, it was like, it's, I think, I forget what video you said. It's like, it's comedy. It's a comedy subjective. Like 100%. You if you don't like metal music, don't listen to it. Yeah, exactly. And that's always the, at the end of the day, that is the point with comedy. You can be like, it's, it's fucking mind blowing to actually have. Somebody come out and be like, "You have to show up in court, stand in front of just a random this. lady," and you're like, "Well, I, like your neighbor, like I made it." Joke. It's a joke. It's not real. It's pretend. Yeah, it's all pretend. <laughs> <laughs> this is to make laughter. Like I make the like an autistic joke. You're like, hey, hundred percent. Oh, everyone's happy. It's like you know. It's like if you see a R word in a movie. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. SA in a movie. Like the, the actor didn't do that. Mm-hmm. Like you're not gonna go up to him. What's the dude in Jurassic Park? Uh, the one that gets eaten on the not on the toilet, but the 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 hot one that everyone talks about all the time. Morgan, thank you. 
Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Morgan's yeah. a fucking nerd. He knows these things. He's like the hot one. He knew at the hot one. <laughs> he didn't go to any of the girls. He was like Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> None of the people. Wait, Jeff Goldblum didn't get Jeff eaten. Goldblum. He got eaten, didn't he? No. No, no he didn't. didn't get eaten. No, he was in the other one, wasn't he? He didn't he get eaten. Jurassic World. One, three. It was a ghost. What do you mean it was a ghost? All right. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was he came back as the force. As a nerd, I need you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> he was a nerd. He was, he, Force no. Jeff Goldblum was got, in Jurassic Park 4. <laughs> he got bitten, right? Or he yeah, got he injured. He got hurt. He got, he got injured. Yeah, yeah. Got injured and he died. He was the one that got actually hurt on the filming of it, so they kind of wrote it into the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, I didn't know that. Is that why his leg got hurt? Yeah. He, when, uh, during the stomping scene, he actually got hurt. Right? You don't know that? Aren't you a fucking nerd? God damn it. Yeah, He's like, I just thought he was hot. No, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum got hurt during the film of Jurassic Park, and then they wrote it in because that's why that's he was in the leg brace. So in, it re, uh, before that, he did a film where he awed someone in the film. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they wrote that in just to fix, fix to fit with his character, allegedly. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they did that apparently. He, he did that in a film, and people are like, oh, we love Jeff Goldblum, but he did that in a film. Oh, I, It's I, not I, real. It's not. He didn't actually do it, but in a film – he uh, was involved in a very vicious scene, apparently. I thought you just like, he retarded somebody in the film. I was like, Ard. He, <laughs> I was going through he my- He filled them up with- <laughs> I was like, what is the word is he? I was like, oh, graping. God. Yes, graping. I could not get not- in my head. I was like, he said it earlier. Why is he not saying it now? Oh, sorry, right. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, in a film, Jeff uh, retarded somebody. <laughs> it was terrible. He slapped their ears. <laughs> Bro, I was so confused. You're looking that. up. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm looking at Jeff Goldblum things. Now, now I'm doubting myself. Was it real? I don't, I'd stopped looking. <laughs> You're like, no. I We're mid pie. I don't want to well, fucking I, read that I much. Think, I think that this was the example of someone was saying that mm-hmm. he did that in a movie. It doesn't matter what actor you're talking about. Those type of things happen. Or even fucking old mate. Um, Anything from the Aquaman uh, with. Um, oh, what's her Jason name? Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa with. Amber uh, Heard. No, the blonde chick in Game of Thrones. He he grapes her. Oh, yep, yep, right? yep, yep. Oh, he, Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Yeah, yeah. But he didn't actually do that. So why would we be mad at him? We're not. But why does the same not given, the same, the you know, to given, uh, to fucking, you know, I'm trying to say. That White yeah. Claw hit me. Words oh, are my God. <laughs> it's like his fucking tits are out. <laughs> <laughs> panties are on the table. <laughs> I'm that, not wearing uh, any panties. <laughs> oh, that's the best show. That's what, how you know it's a good show. And that's what's mm. hard about it is. Morgan won't watch Game of Thrones. He's a film nerd, loves all the films, will not watch, never seen Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Game wait, of Thrones. Wait, you're a film nerd and you've never I seen He worked at a cinema, loves it. All he talks about is movies and he won't watch those shows. Why the fuck? What? I mean, Game of Thrones, like if you watch six I, seasons. I can, I, can I just call Morgan something but we can bleep it out? Yeah. yeah. What a f- <laughs> <laughs> You gotta watch them. That's wild. Hate Seinfeld. Okay, I hate Seinfeld too. Ah, uh, why? Because I grew up being force fed Seinfeld. All right. It's like, here, eat the Seinfeld. Oh, just fuck- <laughs> I hate friends and I hate Seinfeld. I can, I can hate, yeah. Fuck friends. friends has been a while. Dude, what the fuck? Now I'm just confused by you. You're like, I will I, never. I made up for it the other day when I took him to Sam Wilkins' house from Reno. Like, yeah, he made oh, me go to Sam cool. Wilkins' Oh, yeah, it was Transformers. Oh, my God, we're that's in the middle pretty pretty of a cool. ride. All right, that's pretty- Still fuck you, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> no, nah, it, it, it's it's crazy to think that Morgan's like that, but he, he's a very much how a, he's a, not a in Star, Star Wars. Wars. But you had to be proud and of none how of far he came in life. <laughs> I'm proud, <a> dish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you Phantom Menace? I love that one. Yeah, fuck you. Like Don't. I think Phantom Menace yeah. is probably the best Star Wars. I agree with that. Oh, a lot of people hate it. I, love I it. thought that was a joke. I thought that was no, a joke. No, it's my favorite. <laughs> I was what nine years old when it came out. Yeah. That is my style. I enjoyed Wars. that. I enjoyed that. I don't like I the Darth older Maul ones. Tattooed on my body. I love. I Darth love. Darth Maul's Phantom a cool Menace. character. He's the coolest character. Show, show the tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Right in the back. That tattoo is just as good as the movie. Bad. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I hated Phantom Menace, and I won free tickets for an art contest to go to Phantom Menace. I drew Yoda. It was as, such a good I movie. I drew Yoda in middle school, and they're like, "You win." <laughs> You're talking about friends before. You know Matthew Perry yeah. played yeah. Chandler. Did you know through that whole well, some of the series Coke. he was? Um, oh no, autistic. <laughs> he was he was autistic through half of the season. He got better. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <they> cured it. <laughs> no, I was trying to be funny. Don't worry about it. Let's end this podcast. I'm making a dick of myself. <laughs> 
you're watching this Rare Podcast, as always, we have you like double up myself, Batty Streams, and of course, our beautiful, powerful, way too fucking tall eyes, Isaac Butterfield. Where can everybody find you? What are they looking for? Look up Isaac Butterfield on YouTube. You'll follow me there. There we go. Shit. It's easy. Fucking. Ding. All right. Uh, we're going to go touch ourselves, and then uh, after, after show. show.